and this is trade with ellie if you haven't checked out my a to z series right make sure to go back and look at some of the other countries and cities that i've highlighted today i'm at d and d is going to take us back to europe and we're going to be heading to denmark specifically copenhagen and i know this may sound really random like why copenhagen how Copen copenhagen right because people feel like what's there to see what's there to do well for one they do have some really cool um, museums. They have that mermaid statue, Nye Haven, where you have those colorful houses with the water out front and also just so much to experience and learn. So if a lot of people aren't aware, there's really a lot to do in Copenhagen. Uh, went to the museum, aquarium, you know, we did the typical tourist things. But what I want to highlight here with Copenhagen is experience. Right? Experience is more than anything but being open to having new experiences and just to adventure and fun. So how do we end up in, how did I end up in Copenhagen, right? So here it goes. So I've been talking about this, this Euro trip that I did and so this is actually stop number one on that trip. So how we got there was we knew we wanted to do a trip that was going to be about a month long. Um, so we said, okay, how many places can we go? So we mapped out the different places we wanted to go, how many days we'd potentially do in each place. But more importantly, we said we need to figure out which is the first stop. So we all came to an agreement that our first stop was going to be the cheapest flight. The cheapest flight from New York City, wherever in Europe, was going to be the first stop. Doesn't matter if this country is on our list or not. I particularly am someone who wants to go to every country, every state. So it really didn't matter to me. Uh, what country that was so it turned out that copenhagen was the cheapest city to fly into so we bought a one-way ticket there so boom that was our first stop so we get there and um you know we do the the typical tourist things we do a little uh boat tour that took us around uh the city so we can kind of see everything so we we did the tourist thing and then you know it was time to enjoy the the nightlife so crazy thing, right? With Copenhagen, we were trying to figure out like what, what kind of food do they eat here? Or like what's the staple, right? Um, and there really kind of wasn't. At least when we asked around, people were like, no, there's no like a traditional dish or something. So we're like, okay. Like I remember our first, our first night we had these noodles from some Chinese restaurant. And I can definitely tell you it was disgusting. Um, it definitely was not authentic Chinese food. I'm not even sure what we had, but it was gross. Um, but we were so busy. We were on go, like go, 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 go. Like literally like waking up, sightseeing, turning up, come back, wake up, sightseeing, turning up, come back. That honestly, we really didn't eat. Like I look back and I'm like, yo, like we didn't eat. Like how? Because food, Food is like top on the list of when you go to another city, country, whatever, um, and you're trying to immerse yourself in the culture and stuff. Food is on that list high, high, high on that list. And we barely ate. Like, it was crazy. But honestly, the way those noodles taste, that's probably why we didn't eat and we ate a bunch of other crap. But um, we really didn't eat like we normally do because we usually really look up some stuff to to enjoy so that was just interesting but we um we end up going out and we, we met some some interesting people some interesting characters who showed us a great time in copenhagen and so if you're not aware copenhagen is one of those cities denmark is one of those countries where the sun actually never really sets like it just doesn't set and so um you'll see the sun setting like in the evening but it never goes down like it's never mid like pitch black like how maybe in your city you're like midnight cool it's dark outside no it doesn't get that dark there like the sun is always there it just looks like it's always setting but it never sets so you know we go out to eat setting this time we decided to go out to eat it's like our second or third day, day third day there and um you know we're going out we're going out and we come out one of the spots at like midnight and the sun is just like looks like it's already rising and it's like wow it's midnight but the sun is up is and then you could sometimes see like the moon too at the same time it was crazy it was beautiful um and then you know we we met these people out there we were just like 
going from one spot to another. They were just showing us all the hot spots and we were just turning up, having an amazing time. Like it was crazy, crazy. So we end up like leaving on the last spot and it's like five in the morning and the sun is just bright up, like five, six in the morning. And we're like, wow, this is just so weird. Um, you know, it's just so weird how like it felt like it was midday, like the sun is hot and out. Um, so we were just like, wow, this is, you know, it's time for us to go home. Like we, we finally need to like rest. And so the people we met were like, no, yeah, like we're going to go to the beach. Beach. We did a tour. We did a boat tour that took us around. We did a bunch of different tours um, and sightseeing on our own. We did not see a beach. So we're thinking like, where are these people trying to take us? Like, is the beach like where Nyhaven is, where those colorful houses are and that water there? Because we did see people swimming in there. And so we were like, we don't swim. At that time, I definitely didn't. So I was like, um, and that, that place that we saw, I was like, I'm not, no, <laughs> no. So it was just like, where are they taking us? And they're like, yeah, we gotta get in a cab. It's a little bit out. Um, and at this point we would have to split up cabs. Um, because there was too much of us cats weren't big enough and we're just like it just sounded so sketch we're like you know what I think it's time to go home um so oddly enough uh when we were out we had met like three four individuals that were showing us out and then another one who kind of tagged along because they just felt like the people we met were just sketch or something I don't really know but overall we had a great time we were safe you know Act how you would anywhere else. Like, be vigilant, be aware of your surroundings, follow your instincts, like, you know, just be smart, but have a good time. Um, and so, like, in our group, in my group, we, it was about seven, six or seven of us. Um, so we were just like, you know, we're good, you know, and we eventually went home, but it was so much fun. And so, like, me highlighting Copenhagen is not about the things I did, not about the museum I went to, it's not about the aquarium or Nine Haven, which is so nice and a beautiful place to take pictures, or that boat ride um, that showed us the city and was really good, too. It's about experience, being open to having a new experience. Because most people would say, why would you go to Denmark? And that's a question we got asked a lot. Why, why here? Why do you want to come here? And it's like, why not? Why not? why are you here you live here why do you live here you know it's like every place has its own thing um has its own beauty and it is kind of true you go to enough places at some point you're kind of like seeing the same thing very true in that um but each place has its own character you meet different people new experiences like you just never know um what you're going to come across, what you're going to discover. So I still don't knock it out because I want to literally go to every country, every state. So for me, it was nice to be able to go there. You know, like they bike a lot there. We didn't do biking there. But, you know, that was something different for us to see, like a lot of people just riding bikes. You know, everyone was like super fit. And it probably was because they had more people on bicycle than in cars. Um, but that's something we were we wouldn't even have known or been aware of unless we were there or read about it somewhere. You know, so it's really different to be in a location and to experience it, to see things for yourself, like to see that mermaid statue, like just different things. It's so, so cool. You know, Little Mermaid is one of my favorite Disney movies. So that was cool, too. Um, but overall, like just being open to have a new experience, like us speaking to the individuals we met out who showed us. A crazy amazing time like literally we turned up m legit to the point that Copenhagen had, was on the t my top five for a long time um, over the years I've gone to more places and so it bumped down but still top 10 and still one of the best places best experiences I've had and like most fun um, so much fun and that's something I wouldn't even have thought like anyone that I went with in that circle if you ask them like how fun was Copenhagen, everyone is like, yo, oh my God. Like it's literally to that point. Um, and that's something that we wouldn't have experienced had we decided like, oh, there's nothing to see here. Or like, oh, is it really worth going there? Like we would have missed out on such an amazing, amazing experience and opportunity. So I say this to share with you that be open. Like don't let your prejudgment or what you think or assume or heard of a specific place, city, country, whatever it is, 
deter you from trying out something new from experiencing it for yourself right everyone's not going to have the same experience you might go to copenhagen and you just might not you might not like it but you don't knock it until you try it right but you might not like like it for different reasons maybe you just uh, weren't around the right people maybe you didn't go with the right people right so it's it's with anything every experience is going to be unique it's going to be different everyone's different but don't knock something out just because you heard right or don't knock something out just because you think there's nothing worth there um the least you can do is be open and just just give it a shot so i hope you enjoyed this i know it wasn't too much about denmark but Overall, experiences are key. Networking is key. Meet new people. You never know where it's going to lead you. But I'm so excited to bring to you E next week and a little bit more story time, a little bit more something different. Definitely something different. So stay tuned. Thank you for tuning in. It's Trade with Ellie.